Hello, I'm Mr. Tan. So today, okay, we will do some practice question for set one preparation. But first, you need to have a piece of paper to write out the question and the answer. So without further ado, let's begin. Someone. <clears throat> Round zero point nine 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 two two significant figure. So two two a calculate. Draw my four two one five the power three over Q root six hundred and forty five minus three point five from K. Your answer to six decimal places in part B. Draw your answer in A to three significant figure. Okay, write out the question and do your working. So Mr. Tan will show you the answer. If you have not done it, please pause the video. So two significant figure. So this is your first significant figure, second significant figure. Behind round up, 2 plus 1. So you get 0 0.10. Can you see two significant figure? Uh, like 1.0. Question 2A. So you press into calculator, they save you to six decimal place. So the answer is 0 0.014568. And run out to three significant figure. That means you look at your this, this, and this round up. So you get 0 0.0146. Okay, next. Get ready to write out the question. Question 3. Q root 1,072 ahead. And write the answer as 
a product of prime number question four Express for a express two thumb three thumb three thumb five in index notation. Part B. Find the smallest possible value of n such that n thumb two thumb three thumb three thumb five can be is a perfect square. Okay, Mr. Tan will show you the answer. Okay, we have not done it. Please pause. So once you press into calculator, okay, you will get 12. However, they want product. Product is time. And a prime number. So two times two times three. So prime number is a number that's only two factor, one and the number itself. Question four A in this notation. So the answer is two, whereas there are two times of three. So it's three square times five. So this is known as your index notation with the power notation. And part B, they want the smallest possible value of n. So there's a perfect square. So perfect square means that when you square root, you give you a whole number. So the three behind, you already had three and three, three square. So you need a two times two, another five times five. So n is actually 2 times 5, 10. So by multiplying by 10, this can give you a perfect square so that your square will get whole number. Okay, write down this question 5. Consider. Zero square root four, Q root negative 27, five over square root three, five and pi over four. Right now, check, get as many working marks as possible. Right now, irrational number. Positive integer in prime number. And last, write all the number on the number line. So same, pause the video if not done it. It's a time we'll pass forward and show you the answer now. So irrational number means the number cannot be put in a uh, fresh, uh, cannot be put in a fraction. Okay. Or we there's someone that keep going on and on and on. So the answer is five over square root three. You'll be surprised. That's how I say that you cannot put in fraction. Because when you click into calculator, indeed, this answer cannot be put into a fraction. Same for pi over four. 
So this is the answer. Part B, positive integer, means it's a whole number, it's a positive. So answer is square root four. We are square root four, press calculator is a positive two, followed by five. Next, prime number. So prime number is a two and a five. Part B, write all the number on the number line. So here, number nine, have a zero. I got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, five, negative six. Then you can mark. So here is your Q root of negative 27. So you can mark your zero. They can mark somewhere here. This is pi over four. Then this is square root four. Then here is five over square root three. And here is a five. So done. Okay, question six A. Express 125 gram as a percentage of 5 kg. And part B, find the value of 4.5% of Then question seven, evaluate negative two bracket 12 plus three, close bracket, divided by three. Another negative here, without the use of a calculator. So I will show you the answer. So in secondary school, we don't do like this 100% is uh, 5 kg is 100%. Okay, so we don't do this method, whereas we just put in fraction. So 5 kg is 500 gram. Then you just some hundred percent. So it's two point five percent. Therefore, part B evaluate. So same, just take four point five out of one hundred times eight dollar. You get the answer thirty six cent. So we do it in one step. Question seven evaluate. Evaluate means find the value. So you do the bracket inside first. So you get 15 divided by three. Next, you do the time. So negative two times 15 is negative 30 divided by three. And negative 30 divided by three is negative 10. And last, you put it in, correct answer, 10. Question eight. Okay. Factorize. 15 A square B plus 6 A C. Then question nine. Given that A equal to three, B equal to negative two, and c equal to half, evaluate 2a minus 3c. Uh, this is part a, part b, evaluate 
a b square o minus 3a over c okay pause the video you have not done it if not continue to play so for question a factorize me take out the common factor so for example you have 8 and 10 so factorize me take out the common factor so 8 has 2 as a factor 10 has a 2 as a factor so you take out left 4 and 5 so same for this take out common factor means you take out 3 you have 15 and 6 is a 3 then you take out 8 so you get 5 a b plus 2 c question 9 so they just want you to substitute so your a is 2 times 3 then your c is half just press into calculator and so you get four and a half then for part b same thing put into calculator you should get the answer six Okay, last question, question 10. Okay, write down this question. So, a train, 320 meter long, passes through a tunnel, 5.2 km long. The average speed of the train is 28 km per hour. Part A, convert 28 km per hour into a meter per second. And part B, calculate the time taken for the train to pass completely through the tunnel. So give your answer in minutes. Okay, so the so time will do it. If not, please pause. So for part A, 28 km per hour means 28 km per one hour. So that seems to meter. So that is 28,000 meter. One hour is 60 minutes. Times 60, 3,600 seconds. Press into calculator, 7 whole 7 out of 9 meter per second. Then for part B, you want fully simply find that the total length of the tunnel and train is 5.2 km or 0.32 km, 5.52 km. Then the time taken. So time is distance divided by uh, speed. So distance is 5.52 km. So speed is 28 km per hour. Press into calculator, you will get 69 hours, 350 hours. And in one minute, so multiply by 60, you will get 11.8 minutes in 3SF. So with that, we come to the end. Remember, okay, to have all your question and solution done neatly. Mm, goodbye.